I'm Sarah from The Upcoming, so lovely to speak to you. Maybe you can kick off with a brief intro to a banquet. And although this kind of sits in the horror genre, the horror is almost in the mundane or in these kind of like everyday relationships. Well, yeah, the horror is it's kind of an elevated horror because it's very much about the, the tangible difference between sanity and, and madness and where those lines are and what we believe in and how far you can go into your own mind, which is possibly the most terrifying place of all. Um, and really the epistemology of, of what is real and why is it real for somebody and at what point does that knowledge that somebody knows that something is real like, there's a ghost, I've seen it, I know it's real. I haven't seen it, but I know you know it's real, so therefore I know it's real. You know, there's, there's this extraordinary sort of journey of trust and disbelief in discovering kind of parts of our brains and whether or not we can trust each other. Um, and also the disasters of parenting when you let a child take over. Or, you, you know, you don't have the power as a parent to sort of maintain the status quo. Um, and you've got an incredible director to work with and fellow cast. So what was it like on set, you know, doing these, you know, going from very like intense scenes to, you know, being outside and, you know, some of the latter end of the film, maybe even more challenging. I just loved every minute because it was just playing. We were just playing and playing. And we had like four weeks and we had to shoot it really fast and we didn't have time to really think. You just throw yourself in and you try and get the most you can out of each moment and each scene. And Ruth will come up and sort of whisper something in your ear and you'd be like, really? And then you try it and you'd be like, wow. <laughs> um, it was just an, an amazing experience. It was, we were the first film to happen after the first lockdown. So it felt, you know, there was this kind of fear of being outside and this safe space of being inside in this house, being able to do the thing that we love doing with each other. And, you know, acting is such a team sport. And when you've got an amazing cast like that around you and an amazing director and such a weird story, there aren't any limits. And you're just like, whoa. <laughs> but it was fun. It was amazing. I loved it. Loved it. I love the fascinating relationships because it does say so much about the push and pull between, um, you know, uh, mothers and daughters. Um, but also you've got this multi-generational view on things like anxiety about the future and on mental health and how we deal with eating disorders. So do you think that was another interesting facet to this film? I think, you know, worrying about the planet and worrying about our bodies and worrying about what we can eat and what we can't eat and worrying about our effect in the universe and whether there is a universe are all things that are completely tangible and completely worth exploring. And I've, I don't see any reason why they shouldn't be explored. So when I saw the script, I was like, oh my God, this is incredibly brave because these are conversations we don't normally have, but they're conversations that eat away at your mind. And every person, no matter what age, but I think especially sort of, you know, younger girls, because you're just like, where am I in the world? And I've got all these dilemmas. And, and it really confronts and explores the like extremes of those dilemmas in a way that's terrifying. You know? And is it really exciting to have, you know, female film director, female characters front and center, and explored in this incredibly nuanced way? And do you think horror in particular is a medium that allows you to be more creative with those things? I mean, I, I find sometimes horror can be limiting because it, you know, is looking for the unreal. Um, and for me, the joy is always marrying those two things. You know, it's where you can, like, bring the real into the unreal and bring them together and make everything just a bit jangly and a bit exciting. Um, but I think, essentially, it's, it's just really interesting seeing the work interpreted by a woman that is really interested. You know, Ruth is really interested in how women think and what drives us. And she goes against, you know, it's, you'd expect maybe, you know, the anorexic female teenage girl to be kind of, you know, needy and worn and wanty. And, and Jessica Alexander is not that. She's completely steady as a rock and steadfast. And she's the only person that has purpose and drive. And it's like, I think I want to be like that, you know. Um, and as a mother, you're kind of going, but I need to look after my child and I don't know the best way to do this. And asking all these questions and feeling challenged by it all. And there's just so much that comes up and it's just exciting. Sorry, I totally lost the point. I was just like, whoa, whoa. Sorry. And just very finally, how does it feel to have the film screening here at London, especially, you know, with all the sound design and, you know, there's something very eerie about every moment of it. It's, it needs to be seen on the big screen. I haven't seen... This is going to be my first time 
seeing it on big screen with all the sound and I'm really I love Ruth Baxton as a filmmaker so much and to see her work as it should be seen you know and just watch all of the elements of her narratives you know and the music and everything is just I'm, I'm very excited to see it amazing well enjoy it thanks so much for your time Cheers.